Under Codemasters, F1 games have seen a mixed bag of both high quality and stale games. Recent times have seen exponential growth in the consistent quality of the games and a bolstering playbase. F1 2021 in particular personifies this growth with its high attention to detail. Features like the story mode Breaking Point and My Team alongside more aggressive AI have created a more complete game. However, no one game is without its faults. One particular fault that has been disrupting hardcore players of F1 2021 is to do with this, the sim racing wheel. The one I am using is a Thrustmaster TMX. In order to display this fault in action, I shall be doing a few laps of Portimao and showing both working force feedback and its malfunction. Straight from the offset, you can see that I have to fight the wheel to keep myself from spinning out from wheel spin. The force feedback reacts to the in-game circumstances to create a realistic playing experience and enables better control for the player. As you see in this clip, when I take my hands off the wheel, it violently reacts and shakes. This shows that the force feedback is active. However, as displayed in this clip, the force feedback has cut out mid-race, and therefore the vibration and other sensations have gone, and the steering is way too light to resemble the racing. If this cuts out mid-corner, you're very likely to spin. This time when I take my hand off the wheel, there is no movement at all, showing that the force feedback has malfunctioned. Here is a direct comparison between the two times I took my hands off the wheel. Upon Codemasters website, they have recognised the problem and have stated, The development team are currently investigating the issue and we will update this FAQ when we have more news. Patch 1.06 upgraded the force feedback support, so to ensure that you have updated the game to the latest version. If you are still having issues, make sure that you have downloaded and installed the latest drivers and firmware for the device from the manufacturer's website. In the meantime, turning the wheel off and on again at its power switch is a quick fix. Why did this not occur on F1 2020, but does now on a newer game? Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications.